Kubera also known as Kubera, Kuber or Kuberin, is the god of wealth and the god king of the semi-divine yakshas in Hindu culture. He is regarded as the regent of the north, and a protector of the world. His many epithets extol him as the overlord of numerous semi-divine species and the owner of the treasures of the world. Kubera is often depicted with a plump body, adorned with jewels, and carrying a money pot and a club. Originally described as the chief of evil spirits in Vedic era texts, Kabera acquired the status of a deva only in the Puranas and the Hindu epics. The scriptures describe that Kabera once ruled Lanka, but was overthrown by his half brother Ravana, later settling in the city of Alaka in the Himalayas. Descriptions of the glory and splendors of Kabera's city are found in many scriptures. Kabera has also been assimilated into the Buddhist and Jain pantheons. In Buddhism, he is known as Vaisravana. The patronymic used of the Hindu Kabera and is also equated with Pankika, while in Jainism, he is known as Sarvanubhuti. Kabera is often depicted as a dwarf, with complexion of lotus leaves and a big belly. He is described as having three legs, only eight teeth, one eye, and being adorned with jewels. He is sometimes depicted riding a man. The description of deformities like the broken teeth, three legs, three heads, and four arms appear only in the later Puranic texts. Kabera holds a mace, a pomegranate or a money bag in his hand. He may also carry a sheaf of jewels or a mongoose with him. In Tibet, the mongoose is considered a symbol of Kabera's victory over Nagas, the guardians of treasures. Kabera is usually depicted with a mongoose in Buddhist iconography. A bronze metrica goddess group along with Ganesha and Kabera currently at the British Museum. Originally from eastern India, it was dedicated in 43rd year of reign of Mahapala I. In the Vishnu Dharmadara Purana, Kabera is described as the embodiment of both Urda and Artha Shastras, the treatises related to it, and his iconography mirrors it. Kabera's complexion is described as that of lotus leaves. He rides a man, the state personified, adorned in golden clothes and ornaments, symbolizing his wealth. His left eye is yellow. He wears an armor and a necklace down to his large belly. The Vishnu Dharmadara Purana further describes his face to be inclined to the left sporting a beard and mustache, and with two small tusks protruding from the ends of his mouth, representing his powers to punish and to bestow favors. His wife Riti, representing the journey of life, is seated on his left lap, with her left hand on the back of Kabera and the right holding a Ratnapatra. Kabera should be forearmed, holding a Gada and a Shakti in his left pair, and standards bearing a lion, representing Urta and a Shabika. The needy treasures Padma and Shanka stand beside him in human form, with their heads emerging from a lotus and a conch respectively. The Agni Purana states that Kabera should be installed in temples as seated on a goat, and with a club in his hand. Kabera's image is prescribed to be that of gold, with multicolored attributes. In some sources, especially in Jain depictions, Kabera is depicted as a drunkard, signified by the nectar vessel in his hand. The exact origins of the name Kabera are unknown. Kabera or Kuvera as spelt in later Sanskrit, means deformed or monstrous or ill-shaped one, indicating his deformities. Another theory suggests that Kabera may be derived from the verb root kumba, meaning to conceal. Kuvera is also split as ku, and vira. As the son of Vishrava, Kabera is called Vaisravana and as the son of Ilavila, Ailavila. Vaisravana is sometimes translated as the son of fame. The Sutta Nitipa commentary says that Vaisravana is derived from a name of Kabera's kingdom, Vizana. Once, Kabera looked at Shiva and his wife Parvati with jealousy, so he lost one of his eyes. Parvati also turned this deformed eye yellow. So, Kabera gained the name Akaksipingala. He is also called Bucha like Shiva. Kabera usually is drawn by spirits or men, so is called Nara Vahana, one whose Vahana is Nara. Hopkins interprets Naras as being water spirits, although Mani translates Nara as men. Kabera also rides the elephant called Sarvabhalma as a lokapala. His garden is named Chacharat. Kabera also enjoys the titles King of the Whole World, King of Kings, Lord of Wealth and Giver of Wealth. His titles are sometimes related to his subjects, King of Yakshas, Lord of Rakshasas, Lord of Kyakas, King of Canaras, King of Animals Resembling Men, and King of Men. Kabera is also called Pyadipa. The Atarvaveda calls him the God of Hiding. Kabera, 1st century CE, Madara Museum. In the Atarvaveda, where he first appears, and the Shatapatha Brahmana, Kabera is the chief of evil spirits or spirits of darkness, and son of Vaishravana. 
the Shatapatha Brahmana calls him the Lord of Thieves and Criminals. In the Manyasmriti, he becomes a respectable Lokapala and the patron of merchants. In the epic Mahabharata, Kabera is described as the son of Prajapati Pulastya and his wife Idavita and the brother of sage Vishrava. Kabera is described as born from a cow. However, from the Puranas, he is described as the grandson of Pulastya and the son of Vishrava and his wife Ilavita, daughter of the sage Bharadvaja or Triabandu. By this time, though still described as an Asura, Kabera is offered prayers at the end of all ritual sacrifices. His titles, such as Best of Kings and Lord of Kings, in contrast to the God King of Heaven, Indra, whose title of Best of Gods led to the later belief that Kabera was a man. The early texts go to Madharma Shastra and Apastamba describe him as a man. Only the Griha Sutras of Shankhyana and Hiranyakasam call him a god, and suggest offerings of meat, sesame seeds and flowers to him. The Puranas and the epics Mahabharata and Ramayana grant Kabera unquestioned godhood. Kabera also acquired the status of the Lord of Riches and the wealthiest Deva. He also becomes a Loka Pulla and guardian of the North Direction, although he is also sometimes associated with the East. Kabera's status as a Loka Pulla and a Dik Pulla is assured in the Ramayana, but in the Mahabharata, some lists do not include Kabera. Thus, Kabera is considered a later addition to the original list of Loka Pallas, where the gods Agni or Soma appear in his place. This status, the Ramayana records, was granted to Kabera by Brahma, the creator god and father of Pulastya, as a reward for his severe penance. Brahma also conferred upon Kabera the riches of the world, equality with gods, and the Pushpaka Vimana, a flying chariot. Kabera then ruled in the golden city of Lanka, identified with modern-day Sri Lanka. The Mahabharata says that Brahma conferred upon Kabera the lordship of wealth, friendship with Shiva, godhood, status as a world protector, a son called Nalakubara slash Nalakubara, the Pushpaka Vimana and the lordship of the Nairata demons. An 11th century Kabera, Karnataka. Both the Puranas and the Ramayana feature the half-blood siblings of Kabera. Vishrava, Kabera's father, also married the Rakshasa princess Kaikizi, who mothered four Rakshasa children, Ravana, the chief antagonist of the Ramayana, Kumbhakarna, Vibhasana, and Surpanaka. The Mahabharata regards Vishrava as the brother of Kabera, so Kabera is described as the uncle of Ravana and his siblings. It records that when Kabera approached Brahma for the favor of superseding his father Pulastya, Pulastya created Vishrava. To seek the favor of Vishrava, Kabera sent three women to him, by whom Vishrava begot his demon children. Ravana, after acquiring a boon of Brahma, drove Kabera away from Lanka and seized his pushback of Vimana, which was returned to Kabera after Ravana's death. Kabera then settled on Gandamandana Mountain, near Mount Kailash, the abode of the god Shiva, in the Himalayas. Sometimes, Kailash itself is called Kabera's residence. His city is usually called Alaka or Alaka Puri, but also Prabha, Vasudhara and Vasustalai. There, Kabera had a grove called Ketraratha, where the leaves were jewels and the fruits were girls of heaven. There is also a charming lake called Nalini in the grove. Kabera is often described as a friend of Shiva in the epics. The Padma Purana says that Kabera prayed to Shiva for many years, and Shiva granted him the kingship of Yakshas. A description of Kabera's magnificent court appears in the Mahabharata as well as the Megajuda. Here, Gandharvas and Asparas entertain Kabera. Shiva and his wife Parvati often frequent Kabera's court, which is attended by semi-divine beings like the Vidyadharas, Kimparushas, Rakshasas, Pishachas, as well as Padma and Shanka, personified treasures, and Manabhadra. Kabera's chief attendant and chief of his army. Like every world protector, Kabera has seven seers of the north in residence. Alaka is recorded to be plundered by Ravana once, and attacked by the Pandava prince, Bhima once. Kabera's Narada army is described to have defeated King Mukukanda, who then defeated them by the advice of his guru Vashishta. Shukra, the preceptor of the Asuras, is also recorded to have defeated Kabera and stolen his wealth. Another major tale in the scriptures records how Kabera entertained the sage Ashtavakra in his palace. Kabera is the treasurer of the gods and overlord of the semi-divine Yakshas, the Gyakas, Kanaras, and Gandharvas, who act as his assistants and protectors of the jewels of the earth, as well as guardians of his city. Kabera is also the guardian of travelers and the giver of wealth to individuals, who please him. The Rakshasas also serve Kabera, However, some cannibalistic Rakshasas are described to have sided with Ravana in the battle against Kabera. Kabera also developed his minor marriage divinity. 
He is invoked with Shiva at weddings and is described as Kamshvara. He is associated with fertility of the aquatic type. The Puranas and the Mahabharata are record that Kabera married Bhadra, or Kaberi, daughter of the demon Mura. She is also called Yakshi, a female Yaksha and Charvi. They had three sons, Nalakubara, Managriva or Varnakavi, and Mayuraja, and a daughter called Meenakshi. As the treasurer of the riches of the world, Kabera is prescribed to be worshipped. Kabera also credited money to the god Venkateshwara for his marriage with Padmavati. In remembrance of this, the reason devotees go to Tirupati to donate money in Venkateshwara's hundi, is so that he can pay it back to Kabera. While Kabera still enjoys prayers as the god of wealth, his role is largely taken by the god of wisdom, fortune and obstacle removal, Ganesha, with whom he is generally associated. Jamhala, the Buddhist Kabera, depicted similar to Kabera Kabera on an elephant in the Jain caves of Ellora. Kabera is recognized outside India and Hinduism as well. Kabera is a popular figure in Buddhist as well as Jain mythology. The Orientalist Dr. Nagendra Kumar Singh remarked that, every Indian religion has a Kabera after the Hindu prototype. Kabera is the Buddhist Vaisravana or Jamhala, and the Japanese Bishaman. The Buddhist Vaisravana, like the Hindu Kabera, is the region of the north, Aloka Pala and the Lord of Yakshas. He is one of the four heavenly kings, each associated with a cardinal direction. In Buddhist legends, Kabera is also equated with Pankika, whose wife Haratai is the symbol of abundance. The iconography of Kabera and Pankika is so similar that in certain cases, A. Getty comments, it is extremely difficult to distinguish between Pankika and Kabera. The Japanese Bishamon, also known as Tamon Ten, is one of the Juni Ten, a group of twelve Hindu deities adopted in Buddhism as guardian deities who are found in or around Buddhist shrines. The Juni Ten group of twelve deities were created by adding four deities to the older grouping of Hapu Ten, the eight guardians of the directions. Bishamon rules over the north, like his Hindu counterpart Kabera. In Jainism, Kabera is the attendant Yaksha of the 19th Tirthankar Malanath. He is usually called Sarvanubhuti or Sarvana, and may be depicted with four faces, rainbow colors and eight arms. The Digambara sect of Jainism gives him six weapons and three heads, while the Svetambaras portray him with four to six arms, numerous choices of weapons, though his attributes, the money bag and citron fruit are consistent. He may ride a man or an elephant. He is related to the Buddhist Jamhala rather than the Hindu Kabera. Thanks for watching.